Hey everybody, welcome back to Miami Minute, where we cover my favorite team, the Miami Dolphins, who are atop the AFC East after a 31-216 victory over the New York Giants. And of course, this is by way of the Buffalo Bills losing their game today to the Jacksonville Jaguars in London. They had the early game, and they lost 25-20, so the Dolphins were set to potentially reclaim the top spot here in their matchup with the Giants. And the, I want to say they won handily, but they did a lot to keep the Giants in this game, such as throwing a pick six, having another interception and a fumble. Uh, so 31-16, to while it already looks like a pretty decently lopsided score, uh, this game felt like it was even more lopsided. If you're watching it, I mean, just look at the total stats Total yards, 524 for Miami, 268 for New York, 302 passing yards to 183, 222 rushing yards to 85. Average yards per play was 9.7 to 3.9. On paper, and specifically in the stats department, the Dolphins dominated, and they were led through the air by Tua, of course, 22 of 30 for 308 yards, two touchdowns, and those two interceptions I mentioned just a moment ago. Uh, Devon Achin, he, he's been crushing it, uh, 11 carries for 151 yards and a touchdown. Tyreek Hill added eight receptions for 181 yards and a touchdown. As far as other players, Raheem Mostert had 65 yards and 10 carries, a touchdown. Jalen Waddle, five for 35, a touchdown. Cedric Wilson getting back into the mix a little bit with four for 52 with, of course, Craig Craft and Ezukama on the IR. No Chase Claypool today, unsurprisingly. Uh, he just got traded the other day, so perhaps next week we'll see him. Depends on how well he picks up the offense. So while the Dolphins were fairly dominant on offense, their defense really, really came to play. I mean, Zach Sealer, two sacks, six tackles total. Uh, Christian Wilkins added... Four tackles, um, Emmanuel Ogba, one and a half sacks himself, Jerome Baker, one and a half sacks. So, I mean, just a really solid defensive game where they were able to disrupt what the Giants were looking to do. They, they actually knocked Daniel Jones out of the game. Hopefully he's okay. Uh, cause, and then Tyrod Taylor came in at the end of the game and I mean, if you're like me and you're a longtime Dolphins fan, you may have been a little worried, like, oh, God, Terod Taylor has owned us when he was with the Buffalo Bills in the past, but fortunately, that wasn't the case today. For the Giants, their part, uh, Danny Jones, 14-20, 119 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. Tyrod Taylor added 86 yards and 9-12 in garbage time. Uh, Eric Gray led the way on the ground for the Giants, 12 carries, 25 yards, and Darren Waller, 8 receptions, 86 yards. Good game for him, though. Didn't uh, didn't translate too very much. Again, the only touchdown in this game was that pick 6 for the Giants. Uh, otherwise, the Dolphins' defense that has been much maligned really, really came to play today. I mean, couldn't have done a much better job without... The touchdown, this is 31-9, to nine. and just, you gotta have a lot of praise for them after they've gotten a lot of shit, I guess would be the best way to say it, uh, over the last few weeks, despite winning, you know, 70-20, to 20, you, they made Russell Wilson look pretty decent last week, Josh Allen tore them up, so, good bounce back game for the defense there, I think the offense not being able to capitalize on things really is why people are kind of leaving this game with a, like, uh, uh, it could have been better. They almost, they had over 500 yards, but it could have been better. That's that's a good place to be in as a fan. But unfortunately, they weren't executing. They weren't firing on all cylinders. Hopefully, they'll get it right next week when they play the Panthers before they have to go to Philadelphia the week after on Sunday Night Football and play the Philadelphia Eagles. But so far, so good on the season. Four and one. Uh, I can't remember the last time they were four and one. Probably the early two thousands, if I had to guess there. If not the late nineties, so a chance to go five and one, a chance to continue to build their lead here in the AFC East. 
Hopefully the, the Bills keep losing. We'll see. Obviously, they were tied coming into this week with the Bills having a tiebreaker. No more. Dolphins alone. 4-1. and one. So if you watch this, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I know it's a little shorter episode, but this game was not terribly exciting. I know it's always exciting to get a win, but I think because of the missed opportunities, you felt like the Dolphins left a lot on the field offensively. Uh, Asians, what, like 65 yard run aside, and Tyree Kills, like 60 yard reception that he got caught on, which is a little disappointed. And then he tweeted that he was washed, presumably because he got caught on that long pass aside. Nothing too crazy here for the Dolphins. So, again, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this, we cover all the major sports here on the Wicked Good Sports channel with a focus, you know, on the Dolphins, on the Saints for football with my friend Jack on the Bayou Breakdown. And other than that, please subscribe. Tell your friends, anyone who you think would be interested in this. And we will see you in the next